Hi, so in a previous video, Heron's Fountain and Water Battery, we made this thing. This thing works by turning it upside down and waiting for the water to transfer from here into here. When it's done that, we can turn it the right way and we get a Heron's Fountain. Now, I showed a diagram of this and it was pointed out to me very nicely um, that perhaps I had skimped a little on the construction details. So I thought I would take that challenge up and make sure that I gave more information on the construction. So once that's actually transferred, all we have to do is that and wait for a second while the water pressure equalises and we'll get this happening. You can see that the fountain is beginning to flow. Now, I did mention in that video, there we go, that we could make this so that instead of having to turn it and wait, every time we turned it, the fountain would flow. So it would happen continually just by turning it. So when this is done, as I say, we'll have to turn it and wait for it to recharge and then set it this way up. In this version I'm going to show you, once this is done and you do that, the fountain will begin again and you do that, the fountain will begin again. Now we can do that by using four cylinders. Here we've got three cylinders. Now, the cylinders themselves are incredibly easy to make. This is the top cylinder. And you can see that there's a, a rod in the centre that pokes a little bit up into the cylinder, and that's the fountain rod. This rod comes from the bottom of the cylinder going all the way down, and that passes through the bottom two cylinders. So it passes right the way through to this one, and right the way through to the bottom of the third cylinder. So that is this top jar here, and it would sit on a three cylinder one, just like that. Now the other one that we make is the middle cylinder, and you'll notice in the middle cylinder we've got a single rod, uh, sorry, tube, coming right from the bottom to just below the top of the cylinder. So when we put those together, they actually slot together like that, and we get this look to them where we have the three bars in, and those are the three bars that you can see in the middle cylinder. Once we've done that, we need to make an identical copy. And there it is, the identical copy. So now we have four cylinders, where two of the cylinders look exactly like this, with this one poking down to the bottom in that cylinder there, which is the third cylinder. When we've done that with these, all we actually have to do is put those together like that. So the long rod from one goes into the second cylinder from this one, the long rod from there goes into the second cylinder from there. So we end up with something that looks like that. Once we've got that, then this third cylinder is the second cylinder of the other device. So I'm going to put that together so that it's more clear. And hopefully that is much more clear on the construction detail. On the construction, then this is your top cylinder where we have two pipes. One pipe is the fountain pipe going to the bottom of the second cylinder. This is the pipe that goes all the way through the cylinders to the bottom of the third cylinder. Then the middle cylinder has a single pipe going from top to bottom with a drill hole in there. That one feeds in there like that, making the two cylinders just like that. And it's identical to this. So if you have a look at the Heron Fountain drawing on that video, it may make it a bit more clear. Actually, that's a bit mean of me. The drawing of the video looks like this. Now all we actually have to do is seal these. Now I seal these by putting a bit of glue around there and then some electrician's tape, which is exactly what I've done there. So that one has been sealed, I shall seal this, and then we can put those two together. Okay, there it is, um, shoved together. Now I've put a bit of water in, and you can see it there, just to show you it doesn't go down to the bottom one, because we get traps formed. Now what we've done is take these top two here and basically mash them together. Then one of them becomes the third cylinder, which is this one here. When we flip it over, it'll be this one here that becomes the third cylinder. It's pretty cool. So all I have to do is fill this up with water and give it a go. And we'll just let that fill. So there it is together and running, and you can see that this one's going down, this one's going up, and the fountain is running. And in a minute, it'll have stopped doing that, and we can just flip it over. <laughs> 
It's running again. <laughs> so you can keep on doing that. If we think about this in terms of charging and discharging, then obviously this is charged. It's now discharging, driving the fountain, and it's discharging into this bottom one. But equally, that is charging the other side of it. So when this has run out, again, we flip it over and it is charged. So basically, you can do that forever. Now, I'm not sure to what extent it is perpetual. I mean, the fountain will run perpetually, if you like, because it's always going to be coming out of there. But we do have to flip it over, remember. So there is that energy that we're doing. But it's using the gravity and the pressure to do that job. There we go again. Now, to work like this, it must be sealed. And mine's actually leaking a little bit. I got the seals a bit wrong. But it must be sealed. If it's not sealed, you'll find it won't work. And you need this little bit of water in the top and the bottom there to make it work as well. And you do that by filling it and then giving it a tilt till some water comes in here and we get an even distribution. Once you've done that and you've got it um, sealed, then the whole thing will just keep on running and running. So I did tell you we could do a four tier one that would run forever. And I thought I would share that with you so that you really saw it knew how it worked and um, if you wanted to could build your own perpetual heron's fountain it's very cool <laughs> okay i thought i would share that with you Thank you very much for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and please do subscribe.